Blessings. I pray everyone is enjoying their day in the name of Jesus. I want to read today's devotional to you all, and it is titled Returning God's Love with Offerings in the Name of Jesus. Your faithful service is an offering to God. Philippians 2, verses 17. The Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness and the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be acceptable to the Lord. Malachi 3 verses 3 through 4. He gave his life to free us from every kind of sin, to cleanse us and to make us his very own people. Totally committed to doing good deeds. Titus 2 verses 14. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, Romans 12, verses 1. Through him, then let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, Hebrews 13, verses 15. I don't know about y'all, but I have to praise God every day in the name of Jesus. No matter what I am going through, no matter how my day is going, no matter what I am dealing with, when I think about all the goodness God have done for me, I cannot do nothing but praise him and thank him in the name of Jesus. Going to church on Sundays is not enough. Going to Bible study is not enough. We need to be praising God and thanking God every single day because he do great works in us every day, no matter what. Good, bad, remember that it all works out for our good in the name of Jesus. You will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous psalm 51 verses 19 give to the lord glory and strength give to the lord the glory due to his name bring an offering and come before him oh worship the lord in the beauty of holiness tremble before him all the earth first chronicles 16 verses 28 through 30 here's the devotional for today Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice so we could be redeemed and called children of God. It is strange that when God asks an offering from us, we think in terms of gold and silver. Everything you have belongs to God. This is so true. Everything that we have belongs to God. Our breath belongs to God. That's how serious it is. Everything, everything belongs to God. In the name of Jesus, remember that God reigns on the just and the unjust, meaning that he reigns on the good and he reigns on the bad. In the name, that's how great our God is. That's how great he is. That's how great he is. A person could just been a dead evil and God would still wake him up the next morning. Always remember that. He would still do it in the name of Jesus. Because there's a time and a place and a season for everything in the name of Jesus. He doesn't need, he doesn't need your money and possessions. Therefore, he asks a sacrifice that's going to cost you something more than earthly riches. Give yourself as a living sacrifice to the Lord. Give your faith and love and care as a sacrifice that is like a pleasing fragrance to God in the name of Jesus. This devotional speaks on something that my pastor spoke about yesterday in church, which is God doesn't need our money or our possessions. He gave it to us anyway. He gave us this. He gave us everything that we have. He gave us the job that we have. He gave us the clothes that we wear. That's how we got it because it was something that he provided for us to get it in the name of Jesus. So When we speak and we think about the money and the possessions, God does not need it. That is why God tells us to give an offering. He has us to sacrifice something that we love, something that you may think you need every day. That's why he wants you to sacrifice it. That's how you're showing God your love. When you sacrifice something for him, you may have $50 in your pocket. Sacrifice it for him. Sacrifice it and pay your tithes. You know, tithes are 10% of whatever you earn or whatever you have. 
That is what God is saying, sacrificing. And remember that even when you give your offering, when you give your tithes, it's going back to the church or it's going back to the kingdom of God anyway to help advance the kingdom of God. Always remember that and know that. Returns God's love with an offering. Returns God's love. God loves it. And that is how we is reverencing God's name. That is how God is you know, seeing our true love for him. When we are obedient to his word and to his way for our lives in the name of Jesus. Let me see if there's another scripture I want to talk, talk about. The first one, Philippians 2 verse 17, your faithful service is an offering to God. So when we are faithful to God, when we are doing what God has called us to do, that is an offering to God. That is an offering for God in the name of Jesus because we are doing what God has told us to do. We are doing what God has placed in our heart for us to do, to get his work done in the name of Jesus. Malachi 3, verses 3 through 4. The Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness, and the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be accepted to the Lord. The Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness. So when people bring you offerings and everything, it is going to bring be in righteousness in the name of Jesus. It is going to be in righteousness. When we bring offering, offerings to God, we are to bring it in righteousness. That's why God tells us, and this is a scripture. I can't remember the scripture right now, but God tells us that when we bring a, a offering, we bring it out of our heart. What we have decided to give in our heart. Never feel like you are forced to bring anything to God. Always do it from your heart. Always give God what you want to give him from your heart. Not what nobody else tell you to give him what you want to give him from your heart. Because if you are not giving it to God from your heart, then it's not acceptable to God. Because that means that when you gave it to God, your heart was not pure. So that is why it's best to give from the heart. To give what you have decided to give in the name of Jesus. So I pray that this word has blessed you all in the name of Jesus. And I will see you all in the next video. Love you all. Blessings.